Hi Scorpio and welcome to your love relationship romance reading for the first half of November. I am Heather from the Crystal Bean Tarot. I would like to thank you for joining me today and all of the positive energy and support that I have received from many of you. This is a general reading so please also check out your readings for your moon, rising and Venus sign. So let's get started. So we start with the King of Cups. And it is clarified by the Hierophant. And in the second week we have the Sun. And that is followed by the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so give me one moment Scorpio. I'm just going to look at all of the cards together here. So Scorpio, for the first, the beginning of November, you start off with the King of Cups. Now this can be your energy or someone that's around you. Um, Cups energy is water energy, so that could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so, so that can be you. You could be represented by the King of Cups. Or it could be someone in your life that has, or coming into your life, that has Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or they have a lot of Pisces, Cancer Scorpio energy in their chart. Now cups are about your um, ups in life and with re in, a, in a love romance relationship type of reading, cups is the creativity that makes your heart overflow. So this is when someone can inspire you and they become your muse and your most beloved person. With it being the king of cups, even though this is the king, gender doesn't really matter. So this can be a male or female person. So again, this could be you or it could be someone that's coming into your life. So if you're single and you're looking for someone, this could be the type of energy that's coming towards you, or it could be the energy you're projecting out onto others. And if this is, if you are currently in a relationship, then this is the, the, the type of relationship that you have with someone. Now the King of Cups is, is a supportive person, a supportive leader type of energy, um, very tolerant, um, a lot of empathy. And that's the energy of the King of Cups. Now, uh, the King of Cups is also, um, yeah, it's, it's a very, very supportive person. They understand all aspects of love. Um, they've mastered what relationships are. So if that's the kind of energy then that you're in, um, it can also indicate um, a whole new maturity in a relationship. So if you are in a relationship with someone, already or you've been in a relationship for a while, it can be, indicate that your relationship is reaching a whole new level of maturity. Uh, and if it represents yourself, if you feel it represents yourself, then it can be showing you that that special someone, that you're now ready to commit to that special someone. And then again, if you're single, it could be that you meet someone who's going to work hard to woo you. And then we, the King of Cups is also clarified by the Hierophant. So if you are looking for a relationship or you are currently in a relationship, this can indicate that um, you're now taking that relationship to the next level. So if you've been dating someone or you've been you've started dating and, and you, you've kind of got, gotten a little bit serious about the person, you may be deciding that you just want to date that one person. If you are currently in a relationship that's a little bit of a longer term, you may be deciding to move in together. Um, just that whole new level of commitment um, you could be getting engaged or you could actually be having, you could be engaged and now getting married or if you're married you could be deciding to have children. So that's what the Hierophant also brings into the picture. Now the Hierophant is Taurus energy, but it can, so that could represent the person that you are in a relationship with or the person that's coming towards you. But it does, um, it does indicate engagement and marriage. But it also talks of a relationship where, um, where the two of you like to travel, learn, share meaningful experiences, that you go after dreams together and you share the same beliefs and values. So this is often a type of relationship that goes a long distance. And then in the second week, you have the sun energy. And the sun is a very positive card. And uh, again, so if, if you are if you are dating and, and you've just started out a relationship, you could be feeling that whole 
Um, it's kind of a love at first sight, new love, uh, falling in love for the first time. If you're in a relationship, then that could be indicating that you, it, it's, you, you're, there's a renewed interest in your relationship and a renewed spark. So, so it's feeling like you're falling in love for the first time and that you are, um, or it can also indicate that that something is happening in your lives that could, will bring you joy. So for example, um, it could be a child, you find out that there's a pregnancy, um, can be family celebrations as well. So something that's out of the ordinary that will bring you and your spouse close together if you are already in a relationship. So it's like falling in lo love all over again for those of you that are in a relationship. And then it's fin you finish off it and it's clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So this is a this is a fabulous clarifier. Um, the Ten of Pentacles. Tens are when you're looking at um, when you're looking at any of the suits in a in a tarot deck. You start at one and and it goes to it goes to ten. So ten is the completion. It, it's it's as far as you can go. And Pentacles are about uh, the, the physical, your physical assets. Um, possessions. You see in this card here that that the you know the, there's this family around. They have everything they want. They're in this this uh, house here. Um, there's all this abundance around them. Um, family, kids in the picture. There's the tower in the background, nice and intact. And so the the pentacles again. It it can be your possessions. Uh, a lot of times it's associated with career money, but it's it, it's also your physical well-being and your emotional well-being. So the Ten of Pentacles um, and clarifying the Sun, which is already a positive card. I mean, the Sun is is it's all about material happiness, joyous outcomes, success, and it's being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, which is about leaving a le legacy. Um, it can it can also indicate you have an inheritance or or there's a retirement as well. But again, it's that whole next level and that whole feeling feeling complete and feeling like, like your life is full of abundance in your relationship sector. So again, if you're just meeting someone else or you're just meeting someone and, and you're single, uh, you know, it, it's going to feel like that whole love at first sight. And it will be nice, a nice intense beginning to the relationship and, and with the ten of, it being clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. It does say kind of pay attention to this because it does have the potential to bring you that feeling of the, or that overall feeling of um, completion and, and success and abundance. So, so this concludes your reading Scorpio for the first half of November for love, romance, relationships. Have a fabulous November and take care.